Call of Duty recently. So. <laughs> <laughs> dude, stop laughing. All right, dude. Recently, I found out. <laughs> dude, this is serious now. <laughs> I was talking to my friend, and uh -huh. his sister said that our content is pretty misogynistic, and I was like, "What? <laughs> what the hell?" But before we get into that, let's get into the introduction. Welcome back to the Controvert Podcast, where we talk about modern dating, growth motivation, and crazy stories. So today, I want to debunk this thing about like being called misogynistic. I think it's a very important factor because a lot of guys, especially content creators, they get called misogynistic, dude, and it's not a good feeling, right? No, dude, like just <laughs> being called bit. misogynistic, it's crazy. So back to the story, right? What happened, Dalen, is that I was talking to my friend, and then. His sister was like, oh, his content is kind of misogynistic. You shouldn't be friends with him. And then I asked my friend, I was like, what video? I was like, which video specifically? <laughs> and he was like, oh, I think it was the Andrew Tate one. And I was like, <laughs> the Andrew Tate one? <laughs> the Andrew Tate one. All right, guys, Ooh. let's get into reviewing this right now. First one. Andrew Tate on dating a happy idiot. <laughs> I will start first by saying like, I don't agree with this actually. Um, All right. Andrew Tate don't agree with counter one right there. Okay. This is the same video, but I dive deeper into like why I don't agree with him. A little bit hard to follow for every man to follow. And if every man were to follow this, then you're just saying that all these men need to be pretty damn wealthy in order to um sustain their whole family like that and if everyone in this world all the men out there or a big majority of men out there were wealthy above 250k dude i don't think that's enough so that's me further giving more proof in this this whole video that was on this dating a happy idiot what andrew tate was saying is that like oh i prefer dating a happy idiot I said, I don't agree with that. I don't want a happy idiot. I want a girl who actually knows her stuff, who can still be feminine, but like has a pretty decent job. Because I don't, I don't make like fucking enough to support a family in Los Angeles, right? Mm -hmm. So that's one video. I don't agree with him. Fucking comes, how, did, how much? Five, five times, times a, day? a day? How the fuck do you do that, bro? <laughs> How do you do that? This one's a know, pretty funny one. Okay. Top G over here. Bro, okay. Some people are not born with as much testosterone as you, Andrew Tate. Okay? Like, <laughs> god damn it. All right, this one, <laughs> even a funny one. Uh -huh. A funny one. I even disagree with that. Yeah. Okay? He was calling people little bitches because, oh, I come five times a day. You shouldn't have the ability to complain. Like, stop being a pussy. Okay, so even a funny one. Dive How do you into have it? sex three more than three times a day and then go like I come I come five times a day. I, I don't I don't take cold, cold showers. I fucking love hot showers. Dude, we're not fucking you, Andrew Tate. Right. Proof right there, right? We're not you, Andrew Tate. Yeah. Do you see me? Do you see us sucking like his dick? No, his... it's all of us just countering him. Crazy, right? Okay. All of these are all challenging Andrew Tate. Should I go deeper into this? So we challenged another one. You guys could take. We challenged another one. Didn't I say that? Don't even we need challenged. To than that. Right? <laughs> we challenged another one. It talks about that the man still loves the girl, so it shouldn't matter. Well, no, it still matters because. See? Well, we no, disagree. I just disagree <laughs> again. All right. All right. Even our first video on Andrew Tate. What does the title say? Challenging Andrew Tate on status. When he was like, status, <laughs> you can cheat. You can cheat if you have status, right? Status. We didn't believe that you could cheat. I don't think that any guy, even though he has like all the money in the world, he could just cheat yeah. and disrespect a woman. There's some people with loads of money and they treat their girlfriends like shit, so. I still don't believe that. Yeah, Girl's gonna hate him. Yeah. <laughs> what did we say? What did we say? The only video that is in agreement with him 
Remember this one? Oh. Focusing on pronouns is a waste of time. Oh, yeah. Remember that? How can you? <laughs> that is. Look, bro. We have one, the happy idiot. Two, the cum thing. Three, the sexually exclusive. Four, four that are in disagreement with Andrew Tate. <laughs> that is ridiculous. We are misogynists. Even though oh my god, that is crazy. Dude. You know, I think this is very important, bro. Dalen, like people, they just see a snippet, like a thumbnail, Andrew Tate, and then oh, Panda and Dalen, they're both men talking about Andrew Tate. They're misogynists. They didn't even look at the whole thing. <laughs> They just saw the thumbnail, huh? <laughs> it's crazy, dude. Oh, oh my shit. what? The? Look, all right, serious talk. Like, if you look at it like a, a news or you look at someone's content, right? You have to be responsible for like the stuff that you're sharing to other people about your opinions regarding this person's content. So, is for example, remember when people back then they would like kind of share news of like KTLA or whatever. And then they just share it based on the headline, but mm -hmm. they didn't read the whole article. And they're like, oh my God, shake my head, blah, 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 this happened. But then it's like, dude, you didn't even read the whole article. <laughs> and then they get backlash for that. Uh -huh. Same thing with these types of people where it's like, oh, don't hang out with Panda because he's a misogynist. Bro, did you even review the videos? In, in its entirety, right? In its entirety, yeah. And then, yeah, okay, we have, here, I'll show this part. All right. So we have this video right here. Men can cheat if constantly disrespected. And, you know, when I was uploading this video, I was like, you know, people are just going to look at the title. Mm -hmm. They're not even going to actually look at the content. Mm -hmm. But, you know, actually in this video, I'm saying that men cannot cheat if they're constantly <laughs> disrespected. It, it doesn't matter. He should not be able to cheat. Uh -huh. And then you were saying you were agreeing with this, right? Yeah, yeah. Kind of. You were kind of agreeing with it. But that I was scared uploading something like this because I was like, dude, someone's just going to read the title and they're just going to make a conclusions from that. It's like the same thing with these Andrew Tate ones, man. Like you see us kind of like just like talking to Andrew Tate a little bit in this thumbnail. And it's like automatically people would assume. We're would Andrew associate Tate. us with Angie Tate. Exactly. So what does that show? People uh, need to actually watch the full video. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to say that this is very, very critical because you have people spreading false news. It's not really like news about important people. We're not like super important. But you're spreading rumors about like these people being misogynist. It's not even just with us but think about it for the whole world if they just take snippets of their lives right they take snippets of of other people their content and then they just go like this person is bad person because they said this you didn't even look at the whole thing and so if you really want to say that we affiliate ourselves with andrew tate actually what andrew tate has said before he was like well these people they never even watched like full content of me so they're honestly just wired to believe this. If you want to say that we affiliate with Andrew Tate and you say that we love him, dude, when we hear Andrew Tate saying things like that, we start to actually affiliate ourselves with him. We actually start to relate with him because when people, they're just wired to believe that we love Andrew Tate when, when actually all of these show that we don't, dude, what he says proves he's right then. I can see you what you're getting just, at, Panda. Yeah. You guys just proved he's fucking right, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, but I don't he, know. Yeah, even even considering that, we're not even for Andrew Tate on our YouTube page. Like, every, every single video that you that we shown you was countering him, except for the one about pronouns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I mean... <laughs> uh, I'll get into another story, bro, Dalen. There was a time, like, when, when we first we're getting like situated with like controversial podcast i think we had the challenging andrew tate that was the only video mm -hmm. that was up and then our instagram was loaded with like andrew tate like for example andrew tate on status 
Mm, Andrew yeah. Tate says you can do this and this, right? Mm -hmm. But then if you look at that short, it is us cross analyzing it. And then this this friend of mine, what he said, mm -hmm. he was like, "Oh, but isn't all your content like just pro Andrew Tate?" And I was like, "What the fuck, dude? This is what I'm talking about. This is the agenda. You have all these people, NPCs. They're all just like, oh." Panda, Daylin. Oh, they're dangerous people. They're too masculine. They're pro Andrew Tate. Spread the word. They're all. They're both pro Andrew Tate. People like this. They're too dangerous. Just because in the thumbnail you have me, Panda, and Andrew Tate together, <laughs> they would assume we're so alpha. <laughs> God damn, bro! The Matrix is attacking us, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right like this whole thing about the matrix right i thought it was pretty bullshit when i first heard about it but when i see things like this and what andrew tate has said and then sometimes even when i make the shorts right mm -hmm. sometimes we upload like shorts onto youtube shorts yeah, yeah. tiktok whatever you type hashtag red pill mm -hmm. right i'm just i'm just i just use red pill hashtag red pill because Andrew Tate's red pill. He's pretty fucking red pill, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes we even have like guests that are pretty red pill. So what they say is pretty red pill material. So those videos, they get shadow banned too. Oh yeah. So there's Talk a Talk about that, huh? <laughs> there's Talk a, about that. There is an agenda, bro. You know, there's an agenda where people, our friends of friends, even our friends, they think we're pro Andrew Tate and then they're just automatically they come to this conclusion. There's an agenda with this whole attention span. It fucks up your attention span to a point where you just automatically, you're just assuming the worst in everyone. Mm -hmm. It's very toxic, dude. Once you once you have that, sorry, what were you going to say? No, I, I definitely agree with you. Everyone, like, they basically base everything off, like, a 30-second clip now. Even less than that, like, 15-second clip. And then they're like, oh, they see that we're uh, in the same clip as Andrew Tate. And they're like, oh... They must be together, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like <laughs> crazy, bro. Crazy. Videos, Absolutely man. ridiculous. Like, how do you guys live with yourselves just watching 30 seconds of material? Uh -huh. Our material. Not even just our material, but just any material and just making a conclusion. Dude. Yeah, like everyone thinks Andrew Tate is a misogynist because of that what that one uh scene from the bed where he like he says he's gonna beat them or whatever. He's yeah. that one went viral and everyone <laughs> thinks he's He's a crazy, you know, like misogynist. But if you watch the whole full video, he actually explains himself, you know? It's, <laughs> yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, you know, and then the parts where Andrew Tate is actually being a little bit misogynist. Like, there's this part where, you know, I do think he is a little bit misogynist in some certain senses. Because, like, there's been times where he just goes, like, telling a story about, like, a female cop. And he's like, oh, female cop. Fucking, what am I going to do with a female cop? Oh, shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? We, we, we don't agree with him on that, you know? I, I, yeah. yeah, I don't agree. Yeah. Like, and then, say for example, we get big one day, right? Uh -huh. We get big, and then someone takes a snippet of what I just said, and the whole world just believes it. We're fucked. It's crazy, you bro. So. so that's why this video is so important, because you don't want to judge based off a short that you saw, a 30-second short. And even for, th for that matter, people probably never even seen a short of Andrew Tate. They just think he's misogynist and they just want to believe that. And I have talked to a lot of people, mm -hmm. people who are our friends too. They were like, oh, Tate's misogynistic. I'm like, um, why? Like, have you ever watched anything past 30 minutes of him? And they're like, oh no, but he's misogynist. I'm like, how does this person live with themselves? So I always tell people, I always challenge people who whoever hates Andrew Tate, make your decision after you watch at least 30 minutes. Make your decision after you watch a couple videos full depth of our videos before you think we're misogynist too. I'm not saying fucking we love Andrew Tate. There's a lot of things he says that are really misogynistic. But look at our material, dude. Look, I challenge you. Just look at our page. You will see how easy it is for people to just call people misogynistic. It's fucking crazy man and it's so disrespectful because think about it man like you're just hating on men because they what have a video with another man wouldn't that make you misandrous then 
Dude. <laughs> it's crazy how, like, one bad, like, situation could, like, turn your whole life, like, into, like, basically your whole world upside down because, like, Andrew Andrew Tate, like, no one talks about the good in him. Everyone just, like, why why do you not like him? Everyone's like, oh, because I heard he's bad. So they're like, oh, he must be bad. You know, e- everything that he does or that is associated with him is probably really bad, you know? Yeah. And, you know, like, I did mention, like, earlier that I said that I do think some of the things he said is misogynistic, right? Mm-hmm. But that doesn't make him a bad person. Yeah, some of the things I don't agree with on how he views women, but... He does say a lot of good about how a man should protect and provide for women. So it doesn't make him completely misogynistic. If anything, a very hint of misogyny is in there. Mm -hmm. That's it. And you look at a lot of his videos. I challenge you, anyone who's watching this that still doesn't agree, watch one of his full hour-long interviews. I I mean, I think they go for like three hours, four hours. (laughs) (laughs) But try to even just watch one hour any interview full interview and let's see if you still believe that but i'm not trying to like defend him i'm just trying to say this whole point is men they get called misogynistic too easily especially if like andrew tate's like associated or if we're affiliated with him or even the name andrew tate everyone automatically associates that with misogyny yeah and that's how dangerous it is because these are just challenging andrew tate and it's like Oh, I think he's mis. I think Controver Podcast is misogynistic because, um, yeah, it's, it's about Andrew Tate. It's the it's the Andrew Tate video. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, which one? Which one, sir? Yeah. Which one are you talking about? Oh, uh, um, I think it's it's. I don't I, even I, know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't even know. I I just saw <laughs> that Andrew Tate was on your channel. <laughs> Go go watch all the, the Andrew Tate ones then. Which one, bro? Yeah. Tell me. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I final remarks on this, dude. I think it's very important that like whatever you guys watch, you guys got to take it as a grain of salt until you watch the long form content. Yes. You know, I think people just automatically assume the worst in other people. And that is dangerous because you're actually slandering other people. When you assume the worst and you start telling other people, you're like, oh, no, controversial podcast, misogynistic. That's slander. And I think you should have a little bit more responsibility because then at that level, you would actually be doing worse. You would be worse than these people. Mm. Never said anything about like us loving Andrew Tate or anything. We did more that was against Andrew Tate. And you're saying all this bad mouthing about us anyways i'm not trying to like this video is not because we're like sensitive mm-hmm. and we're trying to defend ourselves we really don't give a shit too much i mean yeah we look at it, we're just like what the fuck but what we're trying to spread this the gospel that we're trying to spread is more so you got to take accountability you say all these things and it is complete opposite we're trying to show you how ludicrous it is <laughs> that It is easy for a man to just get canceled. It is easy for a man to just get called misogynistic. Mm -hmm. And this is the type of shit we we live with when our shit is totally against him, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, we've even seen, like, uh, some friends and content creators that we're close with, you know, getting attacked as well, you know, like getting getting their websites taken down and stuff. But let's be real. Those those guys are actually pretty goddamn red pill. (laughs) Let's be real. (laughs) Okay, yeah. <laughs> I gotta be real with that, dude. They are pretty. They went a little overboard. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I do. I do want to reiterate too. Um, final reiteration is that like controversial podcast. Our color is purple. Is because we're a mix of like red pill and blue pill. We want to see like the points from both sides, and so we maintain a healthy balance between seeing like from a more assertive alpha personality, but also we gotta see it from like a girl's point of view as well. Mm-hmm. So. We, we do want to be realistic, but at the same time, we want to be fair. So that's why all of our videos are not just red pill Andrew Tate. And that's what I want to reiterate. And if you really support that message and you see whatever podcast you see fresh and fit, there's two red pill and you see how we're trying to approach it a different way and not being misogynistic. Highly suggest you hit that button right now, subscribe and like this video. And we will see you guys next time on the Controvert Podcast. Dalen, any final words, bro? 
<sighs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was a big ass sigh. We want to inspire people to just look at content more seriously, not just look at 30 second. Yeah. It's not about like defending us or anything like that. It's mm -hmm. it's about taking accountability. And with that, we will see you guys next time on the Controvert Podcast. Peace out.